All right, that's good. That's good for now, ladies. I will sign anything you want later. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> what a surprise. Hi, I'm Scotty Walker, and I play Walter. Now, Walter, Walter loves prostitutes, money, uh, trouble, prostitutes. Um, basically, what he loves more than anything, though, is himself. That's right. You know, Walter is like Donald Trump, except with big hands, if you know what I mean. Hmm? So, um, anyway, looking forward to uh, our big day shooting next week. Walter uh, is a guy who's always in control of his environment until something happens, which I won't give away, and then uh, things get turned on him. And, uh, as they say, the plot thickens. Ladies, we're back to it. Let's go. Hello, Scotty Walker's busy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Julia Richardson, and I am playing the role of Samantha Ross. You see those eyebrows there? Yes, you know you're in for a treat. No, but really, um, this is our second day on set, or at least my second day. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Everyone's terrible with no sense of honesty. Anyone hear that? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everyone is really, they're amazing, they're great. Everyone's super talented. I'm very thankful for to be here. Um, Let's see how, how things have been going thus far. Um, it's really fun to mess with Teddy. I really like dancing, which by that, I mean, I like doing what I think is dancing, where everyone else is like, what is she doing? But, oh, there's lots of really fun things that happen. You know, there's some elevator stuff going on in there. You know, you know what happens in elevators, right? <laughs> But I'm not kidding. Mr. Bloom, my associate and I have some things to discuss. And I think it's best you don't stick around. Okay, this is Kevin Majors. I'm here on the uh, set of Cost Effective. Day number four of our shooting. I'm playing Teddy. Uh, Teddy is the, 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 the brains behind this operation. And he's trying to teach his little nephew a little bit something, something. And I'm gonna tell you, this has been an awesome cast. We've had the best craft services. I'm talking about we had some uh, things that they called uh, cheesy meats. Uh, cheesy meats is some, <laughs> some cheese with meat wrapped around the outside. It's been a big favorite. People can't keep them out of their mouths. Um, everybody is just salivating over these cheesy meats. <laughs> <laughs> the cheesy meats and this crew is just a professional I'm talking about this is big this might be an independent film but if you see all the the technology that's going on around here and these people are subject matter experts I'm talking about from the lighting crew the makeup crew uh, the food crew we even have monitors to look at ourselves for real you know how everybody else does these films and they don't ever let you see yourself and so you don't know what you're doing wrong but they keep on telling you to do different stuff well here we get to look at it and try to improve on it this has been awesome and we'd like to thank the individuals that allowed us to use their 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 facility. Uh, we had some technical difficulties today uh, with uh, you know with uh, the door inadvertently locked, but we got that taken care of as well. We also have a fire evacuation plan. I mean, these people are real, man. This is the real deal. This stuff, Steven Spielberg, all these other guys, they couldn't even do this better. Uh, and we got this just just subject matter experts, and I'm amazed at the amount of talent along along the lines and, and the cast. I mean, they're awesome. So. I'm telling you, man, we've been doing it big. Uh, uh, J. Rad Productions, director, producer, writer. Uh, I think he made a cameo in this. I think it's a cleanup man, Michael L. Jackson. He even got a, a superstar name, Michael Jackson, with an L in a minute from Samuel L. It's a combination of both of them. I don't know if that's the truth. I just made that up on the spot. And I hope he don't fire me for saying stuff like that because I might be on point. That might be the truth about how he came up with the name. I don't know. But I, I, I might have just put that out there like that. Anyway, we have a great time here uh, this, this is this has been an awesome experience and I I can't wait till the film is over so I can see it too because my mother don't think that I'm really acting and stuff uh, she think I'm just making up stuff because she hasn't seen any of my work 
all my family keep on talking about, I'll wear this film you in. Well, I'm waiting for the film to come out too. I showed them a little clip on Facebook about a year or so ago, but they still don't believe me. But I'm coming back like a light skinned brother though, and I'm going to be somebody. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, by the way, I just need to know uh, when are they going to get that Denzel lens. I need that Denzel lens so I can look like Denzel. The Denzel makeup kit, the Denzel starter kit. That's what I need. That's what I really need to make me look like I'm somebody. Maybe the ladies will pay attention to me too. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, hey, we're going to get back out here. I got to get back to work at this point in time, plus my makeup. I'm beginning to shine. Yeah, I said makeup. That's the only way. Hey, don't get it twisted. I'm wearing makeup for this film, but I'm still a tooth chipper. That's for the brothers in the hood. Don't be trying to beat me up when I come on back to the house tonight. Talking about, oh, you wear makeup. You wear this makeup and trying to start a fight stuff. I still got these little haymakers and widow makers. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Hey, Kevin Majors, out, set, I'm cost effective. Love y'all. Come check the joint out. All right. Hey, man, what you doing with that camera in my face, man? Hey, nah, man, I'm just playing, man. It's Patrick Michael Gathon, so you know what I'm saying? Playing the role of Maurice Moe, you know what I'm saying? Me and my Uncle Teddy. Oh, let me tell y'all about the film, first of all. Shot 30, take two. job with this dude named Walter who owe us some money you know what I mean so we we try to come in we want to take this dude out you know what I'm saying but you know there's this chick there and then you know a whole bunch of stuff ends up happening in the film so y'all gonna have to stay tuned for that but um you're gonna get some nice laughs in this movie man it's really funny it's a nice get a free call you know got some action yeah, in there you know I think you guys will really enjoy it so tell all your friends about it working on a release date um so far as getting involved with the production team, j Rap Productions, I actually interviewed with them on, uh, auditioned for them on another project, and they really liked me um, on that, so they decided to call me back on this project. So we ended up doing this project and getting set up, and I ended up meeting all these wonderful people. Hopefully, ain't nobody got to die today. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so it's, it's been all good and everything, you know what I mean? Got the photographer in the background, you know, she wanna take pictures with a G, you know what I mean? She wanna take, she, you know, she wanna take pictures with me and my bestie, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do the damn thing, you know what I'm saying? You know, and everything. But yeah, y'all come and check out this film, man. It's gonna be real good, man. And uh, you owe me some money, you better watch out. Over this more, man. I'm out. Hi, name's Daniel Lawson, and I'll be playing Gary Tate in Cost Effective. So, you've been napping all night. Yeah. Mike. Okay. You kind of hungry for some donuts or? No, nah, I'm actually kind of sick of the donuts right now. <laughs> uh, it's pretty, it's pretty nasty. What do you like so far? Huh? Oh yeah, it's all good. I mean, it's, you know, it's part of the process, part of the, uh, the art, and uh, you just keep doing it until you get it done right. How many more donuts you got? Uh, we actually have one clean donut. Uh, there's about four of them with bites in them. Uh, so we're just going to tweak them around and move it around a little bit so they don't look like they're bitten. <laughs> well, yeah, no more Dunkin' Donuts for me. <laughs> All right. time having a great shoot this is a movie that it's gonna make you laugh don't touch my donuts don't get it twisted I ain't playing I know I made that guy it's gonna give you some suspense and uh it's gonna
gonna make you want jelly donuts too. No, nah, I'm actually kind of sick of the donuts right now. <laughs> so you guys stay tuned. This is behind the scenes. This is what goes on after and before you guys see the movie. This is what takes place to make the movie. Behind the scenes, cost effective, Jay West. What? I have nothing else to say. Hey, good, let's go, one more. Let me just hold the card. Put that on the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> good, good morning.